Hey everyone, Andrew here with Nashville Severe Weather. We're going to talk storm chances for tomorrow. We have a system coming in that's going to uh, bring us some rain, which we really need, but we got to deal with the storms. This is really a typical fall setup for us. We get our fall cold fronts that start coming through Middle Tennessee, and we start seeing these setups where there's not a lot of storm energy there as far as uh, what we call Cape. Uh, there's not a lot of storm food there for these storms to feed off of, but man, they've got uh, a couple of other ingredients they have plenty of, and so uh, we think they might be a little bit potent, low end severe threat for tomorrow, uh, but we could have uh, a couple little issues here and there as the storms come through. Let's take a look at the uh, radar out there. This is as of 6.58 p.m., okay, so Anytime you watch radar, it's almost always out of date immediately because obviously the rain is moving. But this is as of 658, just to illustrate that the uh, the system right now is down here over Texas, North Texas, Central Texas, and that is our system for uh, for tomorrow. All right, it's developing here west of Dallas, and uh, that uh, uh, line of storms that we will get tomorrow is now coming through Abilene. Severe thunderstorm watch in effect down there, a couple of warnings in effect now, and that's going to be pushing to the northeast. And so as it does, uh, we will be getting that storm tomorrow. Okay, here's tomorrow's map. This is from the Weather Prediction Center, National Weather Service. And you can see how that low pressure center that is developing now over Texas is moving to the northeast over Arkansas, bringing that cold front with it. And that cold front will be pulling through here in Middle Tennessee tomorrow afternoon and tomorrow evening. And that will bring the chance for some severe thunderstorms uh, to our area here in Middle Tennessee. But let's talk about it. Let's see what to expect. This is the HRRR's interpretation of what will be going on. This is the 18Z run, which is uh, that's to say it, uh, it generated around one o'clock this afternoon, but it looks ahead uh, as these storms come in. Here they come, West Tennessee, Middle Tennessee. We see some reds in there, could have some storms. But then you notice they start weakening as they move east. So there is a lack of, of sufficient storm energy to keep those storms going past uh, really Middle East Tennessee. And so will they be weakening when they get here? We don't really know yet. Uh, we're going to watch model data to see how it pans out and then obviously radar tomorrow. Uh, but it looks like the storm food and and the uh, energy the storms need will be uh, dying off as it, the line moves to the east. So that's good news, but nonetheless, we may have some effects out of this line as it comes in. Tomorrow, wind advisory, in effect, that's 9 a.m. to 7 p.m., and winds could gust 35, 40 miles per hour outside of the thunderstorms. So you're going to want to strap down any decorations that are outside, anything that might blow away. Uh, you're going to want to strap that down, trash cans, stuff like that. Tomorrow's going to be one of those days that we get in the fall, uh, where we get a lot of wind that comes through and starts blowing things around. So you probably will lose a lot of tree, uh, tree limbs tomorrow. Tree limbs. Tree leaves. You might lose some tree limbs. I mean, it, it's going to be pretty gusty, so you might have some limbs in the yard from these 35 to 40 mile per hour wind gusts. Maybe a little bit more than that as well. Could go over 40 uh, as uh, the storm moves through. Now, what does the SPC say? This is a Storm Prediction Center. They put out these probabilities uh, during severe weather setups. So this is the tornado probability for tomorrow. And what the green indicates is a 2% chance that a tornado will occur within 25 miles of a point. That's a lot of words, but that is to say that really from Franklin down to the Southwest, uh, there is a 2% chance that a tornado could occur within 25 miles of you if you're in that green area. All right, so that's to say there's a 98% chance that there won't be. This is a pretty low probability event. This is not a high-end severe weather day, uh, but if a tornado happens on your street, it becomes a big deal no matter how high the prob probabilities or how low the probabilities are. So we're going to watch for it. We're going to see if these quick spin-up tornadoes start happening tomorrow. We don't think there'll be many of them. If there are, there'll probably be just a few. Large hail probabilities, everybody's in this uh, brown color here. That is to say a 5% chance we could see some large hail tomorrow with these storms. 5% chance anywhere here in Middle Tennessee. Damaging wind probabilities, about the same, 5%. And that's to say that you could get some straight line winds as this line comes through over 58, 60 miles per hour. And that can cause damage, but it may not be a tornado. So uh, th that's the difference between damaging straight line winds and tornadoes. Could have some similar effects uh, in a setup like this, uh, but one's a tornado, one's not. So that's uh, the outlooks from the storm prediction center. Now, let's talk about this. This is a very typical fall setup for us. We start getting these fall cold fronts that come through here and drop the temperatures a little bit. 
but when that happens, we get these uh, these these very dynamic systems. There's a lot of wind energy typically in the fall uh, with our fall storms, what we call our secondary severe weather season here in Middle Tennessee. So if you're new to the area, uh, this is not, you know, say you're from uh, out west or something, you, you may not have, uh, you know, severe thunderstorms. And, and, you know, we hear all the time from people say, hey, I'm new here. I have no idea about this whole severe weather thing. Well, this is not a high end event for us, uh, but... That is to say, though, that you can have uh, effects on your street, and then it becomes a big deal if you have trees down or maybe a small tornado. So, But we don't think that's going to be widespread. But we will be covering it over on Twitter at Nash Severe WX. Follow us there. And then we'll also jump on YouTube live if we need to go live. If we have a severe thunderstorm or tornado warning in either of our two counties, we will go on YouTube live tomorrow as best we can and let you know what is going on. So uh, check the webpage of the National Weather Service. They have some great information there. We'll be updating the forecast on Twitter again at NashSevereWX. Hope you have a good night and we will check in with you tomorrow morning.